Hey McFly subscribers. So last week I did a review on this uh, main fish box. Actually, I, th I think it's called main fish, not manny fish, like I had said. Uh, you know, and I said it was a really good box, and I'm going to stand by that. It is a good box. But I hadn't fished with it yet, and I hadn't used it. Um, I did put it in my pack, and it fits well. Uh, some of you had commented that it looked a little big and bulky, and it really isn't. It fits really well, at least in my pack, in my uh, vest. Um, and I imagine it would fit, fit in a lot of other people's. It's not one of those ultra-thin ones. Um, but, it, you know, it does fit. But I like to try to be as honest and open and... Uh, everything with you guys. I don't want to review a product that is, you know, as as a thumbs up, go get it, and you guys not be happy with it, okay? Um, because that's, to me, I, that's why I do this. I want to find products for you guys that I feel are good products, that are a good deal, that are something that I can, you know, say, go get it, and not feel bad about telling you to go get it. Um, I'm not doing this to make money, I'm not doing this to get free products, I'm doing this really just more uh, to be a resource for those that uh, are looking, you know, maybe just getting into fishing or just want to check out these new products, okay? So I had reviewed it good, and it is. Um, I had only messed with this side, and you can see I actually took this out on my last trip, loaded this up with with my bugs and, and and you know it's a really good nymph box it really is I mean it even holds some of these larger nymphs gives you a lot of room and some of these ultra thin um, you can see these really large nymphs here some of those ultra thin boxes will compress that so it does give you a little extra room which I like of course that makes it bulky that's just kinda how physics works you give more room it needs to be larger right but um, it, it's a great box, and I only use this side. You can see this side I had not even filled up yet because I just didn't have that many nymphs. So I started actually putting some small streamers. By the way, guys, my last trip, you'll see it come out, uh, I think that video will come out this Friday. Um, I tried to describe what flies I used. This was the fly, okay? And it's kind of like a, uh, kind of like a little brook trout imitation type of thing. It's pretty colorful, green and red and orange and it's you know normal regular uh, type of streamer just one of those strip streamer type of things and that was the ticket this was the hot ticket that's what caught fish so I was gonna after that trip I was like okay this is a great box I literally never even used this side uh, but I figured I'm gonna load this up with the smaller streamers because it'll fit st smaller streamers really well Maybe not the really large ones like I demonstrated, but uh, woolly buggers, small little streamers like this, it's going to fit really, really well. So I went to start loading this, and I was like, what the heck? It's not, you know, it's not going in. I tried all the different, different uh, ones, and I was like, what the heck? Did, is there no slits there? And so I kind of looked a little closer, and it turned out that the slits are off-center, and they're not right at the top of the triangle. If they're great on this side, it works fine on this side, they're right at the top of the triangle here, but this one, it's almost like the stamp, I mean, they're perfectly, um, you know, maybe a millimeter off to the right on all of them. So it's almost like they stamped out the triangles and then came back in and stamped out the slits, but the stamp was off-center. and. I don't know how I'm going to get this as as a good view for you guys because I don't think my camera will focus in this really this tight. But literally, it's off. Let me see if I can even get one in. It makes it tough because you kind of use the triangle as a guide to get it in. You can see it's just slightly, I don't know if you're going to be able to see that. I don't even know if it's focused or not. But it's slightly off-center. It really does make for a pain to get those in. So I contacted them, alright, so you know, a bad box, you know, everyone makes a lemon every once in a while. Heck, I had a Toyota a long time ago that 
they're great cars and they run and everyone swears by them and they're quality products but I had one that was a lemon and it blew up on me it literally 10 foot flames after 9,000 miles blew up so uh, and I was parked <laughs> it was like you know there was a malfunction in the engine when I had parked I was only gone for five minutes and it literally just caught flames and the whole car was you know totaled from fire so you know things happen even quality products can have lemons okay so you know but I contacted them and I was like hey guys you know this is what's going on with it I can't in right mind tell my subscribers to buy this and sorry for a couple of you I know a couple of you have already bought it uh, sorry to you guys if it turns out this way if not then this is a great product that is the only thing I've seen that I don't like about it okay it's still a very high quality super dense super quality box but but that off-center thing so it's quality control type of issue again every company makes a lemon it's okay if it's just one so I contacted them. They said that they've never heard uh, of this from anyone else. No one's ever said anything about it. So, I mean, you know, hopefully this is a one-off. Hopefully I just got unlucky and got the bad one. So I asked them and they said, absolutely, they've never heard of it before, but absolutely if any of you guys, I mean, it is there is a warranty on the box. Uh, they said if anyone ever, you know, has an issue like that, to let them know, just call them, just uh, send them an email or call them, uh, go to their website, and uh, they will make it right. So, I just want to give you guys a heads up on that. I wanted to be fully open and honest and completely transparent about everything. And since I missed that, because I had only messed with this side, I, I didn't really see the need at that time to put any on that side. So I never even noticed this side's perfect. It's the stamp is great. You know, the slits are in there perfectly, but this side is not. So keep that in mind, guys. You know, if you did buy the other box, hopefully, you know, check it. Hopefully it's not off center. If it is, send it right back to them. Also, let me know. I want to know if there's more than just one of these out there that are like that. Um, if so, then Mainfish needs to figure something out. You know, but uh, if it's just a one-off, then I can totally excuse that and totally understand, and hopefully it doesn't happen again. And especially if they make it right on all yours, if you guys have an issue, then that's a good company. So, anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Sorry the last review, I missed that, uh, but I'll make sure I do this every single time. If I have an issue with a product that I review good or bad, um, and I find out later that it is it is the opposite of what I said. Okay, I'll make sure and make it right and tell you guys. Okay, so there you go, guys. Uh, the new, improved, updated review of the main fish box. So um, if you do like it, I mean, it is a great box. Go ahead and check it out. I, I'll still put a link in this video uh, to their uh, Amazon, and you guys can buy it if if you like it. Okay. Um, but you might want to hear, I'll, I'll, I'll keep updating you guys, um, look in the description section of this video, and over time I'll let you know if some of you, if, uh, if I've heard that other people have had some issues with it, the same issue that I had, um, and if they're going to make it right, and they said they're going to do it for mine, they're going to send me another one, hopefully a correct one, so, um, I'll keep you guys updated on that. So anyway, thanks for watching guys, now you guys go catch some fish.